Uh, I think I'm just a Gracie Jiu Jitsu student, and I have a lot of luck in my life to be on the Hall at Gracie, Hickson, and I study with the Master Elliot in his school. And uh, I'm very blessed to be with him before, before the, day, the years before he died, and still got some lessons from him. And how did your adventure with Jiu Jitsu begin? I think uh, Rio de Janeiro is like, a, I live in Rio, and from there, Rio de Janeiro is like a very, very dangerous city. And you cannot, you cannot uh, uh, count with the pot, put it. Police, police. I mean, it's something you have to learn very early, early in life is how to defend yourself. <laughs> and I find out Jiu Jitsu was the best self defense style you can, can find at that time. And at present, uh, who is your teacher? My teacher is a Hollywood. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, that's the second visit in, uh, in Poland in Rohat. In yeah, it was. For the second time I was invited for the attic. He's now representing my school. And of course, we are under the Grace of Mind High School. And uh, I'm one of the black belts uh, under the school, one of the black teachers' black belts in the uh, Grace of Mind High School. It was the most traditional school in Jiu Jitsu mm -hmm. in the world. And since this is your second time, uh, what is your opinion on, on the Jiu Jitsu level in, in Poland? Yeah, I think, I think uh, Poland has a lot of potential to become a, a very strong in Jiu-Jitsu. And I see a lot of people here, a lot of tough guys, most trained Jiu-Jitsu, a lot of Judo guys, change the Judo to Jiu-Jitsu, a lot of people used to use Gi all the time, it's one student of Jiu-Jitsu, they, they find out the, the Jiu-Jitsu technique is superior. And just because that, I think in a few years, in Poland, we're going to have something really good. Mm -hmm. And uh, are you pleased with the way that your cooperation with the uh, Koch brothers is developing at the moment? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I, think, I think the guys have uh, very good intentions. They are very serious people, uh, family guys. They're not like playboys or scumbags. Very, very family guys. I see all the kids around, the, the, the father, the grandfather. All the family together in this in this uh, this school, and because of that, I think this have a lot of future because jiu jitsu is not for one generation; it's for for, for for whole life. I mean, what think you're gonna pass for your son, for your grandson, and keep it going like that. And, and to be inside with the family inside the, the, the school is very important. And uh, a very popular subject is uh, nominations for higher belts. There are a lot of guys who go into jiu jitsu to to get higher belts. And what is your opinion and what is your attitude uh, towards nomination? How do you nominate to higher uh, higher uh, have a lot of, I have a lot of ways to do that because we cannot put these people in the same box, you know. We have people are, who are competitors, we have people who are teachers, like to teach, we have people who just practice jiu-jitsu you know, in the sports way. And you have to evaluate each one in his own, own category, I say in his own Category. Okay. Competitors, they have to win competitions. Teachers, they have to be a good teacher. And a guy likes to be in the gym, he at least he has to be better. If he wants to be a purple belt, he has to be better than the, the, the blue belt. If he wants to be a brown belt, he has to be better than the purple belt. And then go up to the black. And before you came uh, to Poland, did you know anything about this country? No. <laughs> Just, just about the, the movies. <laughs> yeah. And uh, how did you get in touch with? Uh, oh, well, this was very, very, uh, uh, very surprising for me because in my website I have like association. And I have one part of my school I do associations, but I was thinking about associating with the local guys, mm -hmm. guys in California or Mexico, United States. I never thought of somebody in Europe going to be interested to be. Do association with me. I was very surprised, and then I began to say, "Oh, this can be like just talking." You know? But we talk, we talk by email, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And he sent me the the, the, the tickets, the airplane flight tickets. And I'm here. 
second time. And uh, are you pleased with the way that uh, Rock Hack in Poland is developing? Do you see any changes since your first visit? Oh, yeah. Because I think you, because uh, Yarek and Marcin they have like a judo background, and of course they have a different uh, different ideas about martial arts with a different background. But I've been talking with them, with them about changing things to adapt it better for the jiu-jitsu style, and uh, they are very open. They accept all my 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 ideas. They accept all my. The things like I, I, I telling them to change. I think they, they try to really hard to, to follow the, the path I, I've been following by uh, from the Grace family. And I was talking about the competition. The last time you took part in uh, Pan Ams? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I, I, I fight Pan Americans many times. Uh, I was, I, I feel today I just, I just compete to, I just to keep sharp. To, to keep sharp. And, but, uh, this last competition, was, I wasn't too focused. My wife is pregnant for eight, eight months. Pregnant. I have. I have. A, we live in California. Just us. I have a lot of responsibility in home. Every time I try to leave home, it's very hard for me to leave the, my wife with eight months pregnant by herself mm -hmm. with my little son. And uh, I make a mistake. Normally, we fight on black belts fight on Sunday. They put us to fight on Saturday, and I leave a day before. I, I drive at night time. And when I get to the competition, I didn't sleep well because I was so hyper for the driving. I wake up late, I get there, they call in my name, I have just five minutes to warm up. I get in the mess, I think I'm not focused, I'm not concentrated on the competition. You know? And uh, I lost in the first round by a takedown. But this was, I remember, the last time I lose in, by, by the first round, it was 15 years ago. I always go to the finals. If I'm not first, I'm the second. I win like five times, and I was three times second place in the Pan Americans. Do you plan to take part in the uh, Worlds and other competitions? No, I'm, I'm a Worlds. I'm, I'm, a, I'm now I'm 40, 43 years old, and uh, the Worlds I think like a, is a pro, uh, professional level. You know? The guys fight the Worlds. They are young guys, very strong. In very good shape. I have other responsibilities in my life these days. I have like family, I have a school, I have uh, all, the, all these guys to, to, to teach, to travel, and I become more like a teacher and less competitor. And uh, my, my goal is not, not uh, the moon jobs anymore. I fight like six, six, six times the moon jobs before I reach my 30s. And now I just fought this competition at Masters. Master's competition for the old guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, your, your club is on the, the flag of uh, Gracie Humanita, if yeah, I'm not mistaken. I'm and can you explain the difference between Gracie Humanita and Gracie Baja? Because well, Gracie Humanita was the, was the first school. Okay? It was a school developed by Master Helio. And there were come uh, Hickson, Hoyler, and Royce, the most famous Grace fighters in the history. Gracie Baja is. is, is uh, is poisonous. It's the other side of the family, sons of Carlos Gracie. They are great. It's a new, new a school on, ba on Barra. It's like a neighborhood far away from us. And uh, become a, a, the team we always compete against. The, big, the two biggest teams in, the, in, the, in, the, in the Brazil. Gracie, my tag is Barra. Yeah, and who is uh, making the greatest impression on you right now uh, in the Jiu Jitsu world? Which competitor? Uh, for sure, Roger Grace is the best, but uh, I think he uh, has a lot of, uh, he, his body helps him a lot, he's very big, very tall, very heavy, very strong, but I like so to more the Xande Ribeiro Jiu Jitsu, he's not that big, he's not that strong, but he's a, for me he's a, have a perfect Jiu Jitsu, I, 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 everything he does, I try to see what he's doing because it's adapted perfect for my game. Especially because we learned from the same school and uh, we change, we, we, we talking a lot. He's a, he's gonna be the, the godfather of my daughter. He's always with me in my house, and we're always talking, uh, and training together. And uh, for me, he, he's still one, one of the best ones. If he, if he Hodges the best, he's the second best. <laughs> and during the training, what aspects do you find the most important? I think uh, the most important thing you have to find is 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 in your you know your fighting. You skip the balance, you know. 
is never, is never lose the patience, never get angry, never get frustrated, and always try to keep the, the focus and going in, to try to reach your goals. And of, the, of course, the, when you're training with the, with the young guys, when you're training with the new guys, you don't want to heal the guy. But also, of course, you want to you wanna train your, your moves. And then you try to, add the level, as the level come up, you become more sharp. If I train with a blue belt, I try new moves. If I train with a purple belt, I try some new moves, but not, not try to take too much risk. If I try training with the brown belt, I don't take risks. If I train with the other black belt, it's a fight. You know? it's, it's, the levels change depends on the, the, the belt you, you train with. And the last question, uh, what difference do you see in Jiu-Jitsu from the day that you started training and now? Oh, Jiu-Jitsu changed a lot. When I began to train in, in the 80s, Jiu-Jitsu was for fight. It's a very, very, very basic game. It's a very basic game. We, 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 we train uh, a lot no gi. We train a lot with the, uh, standing up with the slaps and punches. No, Jiu-Jitsu in that time was for fight, it was really fight. You know, in Brazil, we have, that, uh, we have a lot of street fights, we have a lot of things like that, a very violent environment. And everybody trains Jiu-Jitsu, training to prepare yourself for, for real situations. And after, after, after years, they, 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 the, the, they, they develop their confederation. They have so much competitions, and people want to, to, to win that competition, wants to be a world champion, wants to be famous, wants to, 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 to compete more and win competitions. Then Jiu-Jitsu began to change because everybody began to be more specialist in the competitions. And a lot of new sweeps, a lot of new passes. Every, every year, people try to, to, to develop a different game to surprise the, the opponents try to develop a new new game, try to change, try to make tricks. And it's become very interesting today. Today for me, Jiu-Jitsu is not for fight anymore. For me, for me today is a game. You know, it's a science and a game. The the the, the fight uh, I, I left behind. And now I play. I tell I tell my students. I teach the Jiu-Jitsu. I teach today is not the Jiu-Jitsu. Today Jiu-Jitsu is like chess, like science. You know like physics, it's very, very complex and it's very interesting. Now, it also, it's like the universe. <laughs> because Jiu-Jitsu is a, is, a, is a game when you constant movement, like the universe, you're always moving. It's always something changing, you're always something moving. Sometimes you go, 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 and when you get here, you're back to the beginning again. And then you have a new thing, and then people say, okay, this is not going too far anymore. Then you're back to the, to the the start. It's very interesting, you know. I see, I see a lot of things changing, but people are still winning with a lot of old movements. And people, a lot of guys try new things. And it, like Roger, Roger played a like very basic game, like the Gracie Jiu Jitsu I learned in the, the 80s. He <coughs> played today. That's a very basic game, but very precise, you know, and it works very good for him. And to finish with, would like to thank anyone, uh, or, you know. Thank you first. <laughs> thank you, Arik. Thank you, Marcel, to let me come here. Okay? Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.